What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 20 video. It is 6pm on Thursday, which means uh, two things. Number one, we are guaranteed the upgrade packs for the League One. And number two, um, we are now one day away from the new season that I am genuinely quite excited about. I know some of you aren't. For me personally... Um, I'm interested to see what EA do for next season. No more icon swaps, of course, coming. Um, so yeah, we'll be we'll be good to see what's going on. Now we're gonna have some SBCs. Oh my god. Jesus, look at that. Two segments. Team of the season so far, moments Maya. Earn a player moments Maya celebrating his hat trick versus Nimes Olympique in League One. You know what? You know what? I've like I I haven't seen this card. I don't know his in-game stats, I don't know anything about him. But what I do know is this was a base silver card. Uh, he has an English inform. Uh, and then I guess he's changed to uh, Nigerian. His inform is 75 rated. I, you know, I don't understand. And, and it's, I like it. I, I, I love it. I love the fact that they've boosted him by plus 18, right? They've literally given him like 12 pace, like 20 shooting, like 26 passing, like honestly like 30 physical like they have jacked this card up and i like it what i don't like and what i don't understand is why they don't do this for more cards you know way for me to make a negative about a positive right i know but uh let's have a look at his in-game stats so first of all the first downside to this card well already we've got three downsides to this card and and that makes me feel like this might be a really cheap card you know uh two segments on him Three star, three star, doesn't fit the meta. His nation and his club make him extremely difficult to link. Uh, before we look at his attributes, and he has zero traits. Um, on the plus side, on the plus side, that is a phenomenal, phenomenal set of in-game stats. You know, you bang an engine on him, 91 position, oh, maybe not, maybe a, maybe a, maybe a marksman. Um, let's let's have a look. So his cards, so they... they so based on his inform, they've jacked him up massively, right? Based on let let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Based on his uh his 66 rated card, they have jacked him up. I love it. I'm a big fan of it. I really am. Um yeah, three star, three star with no traits. I mean, an engine makes him ridiculously good because top passing, top physicals, very low aggression, top pace, top dribbling, and very good shooting. But you need to boost that positioning, that shot power and such. I, I mean, a maestro, look at that. A maestro on him, oh, look at that. If this card is 284s or better, I think we could be on for a winner here, guys. If this card is 284s or better. Come on, EA. 84 with an inform. Sorry, 84 with a French league player. 84 with an inform or a team of the season. Do you know what? Nanny as an SBC, for me personally, was one of the best, if not the best value for coin SBC we've had so far this year. This card, albeit with a couple of problems here or there, is hands down a top end, top end striker um, for 284 rated squads. Can't find a fault for that personally. You know, I, I rate that and I respect that massively. Um, we still got the League One upgrade pack. Obviously, no one cares about nothing new for the League stuff there. Um, let's have a look at the live content. So uh, we're obviously going to have the um, 81 double upgrade is still there as well. The League One challenge, I believe that was already there. The bronze and silver upgrades, the League One premium upgrade. Um, obviously, that's what everyone's going to be grinding here today. The, a new League One challenge for a rare election players pack. That might not be new either. That might have already been there as well. Throwback marquee matchups that we're going to go ahead and have a look at. And a team of the week upgrade that, again, is, is kind of pointless. So nothing in basic, nothing in advanced, um, nothing in players. So he has got a time limit on him. And I also don't believe that there is any new league SBC uh, cards available. Um, so that leaves us with uh, the throwback marquee matchups, which this week for a mega pack is nice. Hibs versus Hearts. Uh, premium election players pack, one Scottish Prem player, nice and cheap, three leagues, four four max from the same league, three rares, gold players, 10. See, for me, as a whole, marquee matchups are always worth it. As an individual, sometimes they're not, and this one is actually not worth it as an individual. You're trading in 10 gold players for a pack that gives you six gold players. Um, 
And that's, that's just pretty crazy. Uh, Seattle Sounders versus San Jose Earthquakes, a 77 rated squad, which again is going to largely depend on lots of goal players, you know, probably 11 goals unless you go for like 80s and 81s and then drop in some silvers. But even then, you're probably overpaying um, one MLS, five clubs and a goal players pack. So both of these aren't particularly great value. Uh, Bordeaux versus Lyon, uh, one player from there, two players from the French League, three players from the same nation, three rares, 79 rated for a prime election players pack. Uh, so again, you're looking at just trading in a bit too much for what you get back. And then Spurs versus West Ham, an 80 rated squad. Jesus. One Spurs player, one West Ham player for a premium gold players pack. I'll tell you what, guys, this has got to be, in my opinion, one of the worst value marquee matchups that I've seen in, in some weeks. The packs it returned are terrible. You get a mega pack for the whole set. And EA, like, it's going to... These players are going to go expensive. The Bordeaux or Leon commons. The rares are already crazy expensive. You'll probably get them, actually, from the upgrade pack. So you could probably do that there. Um, one Spurs player, one West Ham player. West Ham players probably won't move. Spurs players, because there's already so few of them that are, uh, you know, the the with the price being low, they will go up to, like, 4 or 5K as per usual for, for a premium gold players pack. This, that, for me, is just not worth it. Um, and then, yeah, that uh, player moments, Josh Meyer, or Maja, I, I assume it's Maja, um, is there as well. Wait, what the hell just happened to my favourites? So we've got Maya. I, I think he's good, man. I think that's a good card. Uh, and then we've got the French uh, Le premium upgrade. Um, and, of course, going to show you guys the the best way to grind this, right? Not that you guys don't know. This is week five of this content so far. So, yeah, marquee matchups. Premium upgrade and uh, Josh Meyer are the uh, the only new content pieces available. And I wonder if there was anything. I wonder if there was a loading screen. I personally didn't see. Um, I personally didn't see. We'll wait. We'll wait. Oh, there is a new loading screen. So uh, yeah, ultimate team of the season, ninety nine. Wait, what? Ninety nine belt. Oh yeah. Yeah, they've put a ninety nine Argentinian, a ninety nine Portuguese, and a ninety nine Belgian on the loading screen. As if we don't know who they are. It's obviously going to be De Bruyne, Ronaldo and Messi because they're the, <laughs> the 99s. Um, obviously, uh, I think what well, is Lewandowski there as well. Um, right, let us let us go and build a couple of these packs and I'll show you guys where you kind of like your best, your best potential of, of getting good grind value out of these will be. Um, so I'm going to steer clear of using my Spurs players. Obviously, they're going to be a little more expensive than normal right now. Um... Uh, we can put in Milivojevic, Danny Hebalos. These guys are always cheap. Uh, Lindelof can go in. So we'll trade that one in. You only need uh, 45 chemistry and 11 rares, of course. Any rares on this one as well. It doesn't have to be from any particular league. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll do one from the Premier League, one set from uh, the Bundesliga, one set from La Liga, and uh, one set from the Serie A, and open four of these packs. And it's going to be interesting to see how well these are valued. The other packs that we had from the French League... The one where you had to put in 11 French Rare League players. I mean, the player pick packs, they generally were quite terrible, right? I know some people got some big cards out of them, but I think in general, they were a bit of a waste. Uh, for these ones, you know, you're looking at maybe maybe the Rare Gold cards go as high as like, I don't know, 1.2, 1.3k. But you're looking at like 10, 12k per pack and you get 12 players back, including nine commons. But then again a fair few of the team of the seasons have common base cards and you can then turn each of those nine commons into a two player upgrade pack with two extra commons so that at the cost of like 600 coins you can get another two player upgrade pack and then use those rares obviously for um for the next french league pack and then you can use the french dead rare golds in the player pick pet french pack and just use that kind of cycle status where you're basically just really really like reducing and removing the cost price of, of a lot of this you know for a hundred thousand coins you could probably end up building six or seven hundred thousand coins worth of packs which i think is definitely valuable and and ea know it's valuable too hence the reason why they put them only in for 24 hours this team of the season opposed to the three or four days that we had on them before because when they give you too much time you could just grind them too much and you just get too much value out of them um so we'll build one more uh, so for the sake of, you know, 44 rare golds, we're going to get 12 rare golds back. Uh, and obviously because of the um, French League and the way it has so few rare golds, you're giving yourself three rare golds. And instead of 
one rare gold from a pick of five you're getting three rare gold so if there's two team of the seasons in there you get them both this time i just think these are far more valuable and i think anybody that did those player pick packs or you know if you're not a content creator and you ended up spending money on those player pick packs i think you know ea got you in their trap ea got you to the point where you probably wasted tens if not hundreds of thousands of coins not only on player pick packs that weren't good value anyway but if you did get a team of the season and it wasn't one of the best ones you've now got an untradeable card that is just largely unusable in your club you know um so here's our fourth one and the last one that we're going to build so a goal 11 rare gold is all you need and only 45 chemistry as well which makes it uh, you know relatively easy to put together uh so let's have a look let's have a look at what uh, packs they've got as well um there you go four packs that wait no promo packs ea really that's interesting for ea isn't it yeah no promo packs so here we go i've got four of these so that's a uh, player moments josh meyer is coming in at about 110,000 coins. Obviously, two packs back. Uh, we're going to get nothing out of our first pack. But this, this guy, as I say, now, I, I'll have a lot of the, the commons will actually be duplicates. The rares shouldn't be so. Um, there you go. We can now pop three of those rares into one SBC. Or you could use these cards again, of course, in marquee matchups or in other SBCs, you know, to, to re return value out of them. Um, but yeah, that, uh, that Josh Meyer card coming in at it's actually down to a hundred under a hundred thousand coins now for me personally guys i think that is far far too good value to turn down in spite of the fact that he's only three star three star and has no traits i still think that's far too good value you know you get a 15k pack and a premium mix players pack back so you'll be able to return some of that 100k value you know you'll probably have an untradeable team of the season to put in that will return some of that value as well um, and, you know, a 93 rated card at the end of the day is not too bad either. He probably has a value of about 40, 45k as the card itself. I think that, that is a top, top value SBC from EA there. Um, it'd be interesting to see how he plays in game. You know, it might be one of those cards that is just absolutely dead in game and not worth anything at all. Might be one of those cards that is banging value uh, in game. We've got one board. Here we go. Is it going to be blue? No, it's not. It is a walkout, though. Is it going to be Kalor Navas again? It is. <laughs> Cheeky little Kalor Navas. We could put him in the uh, player moments Josh Meyer SBC. Very nice indeed. Um, but for me, four of those packs, we got one board and was a walkout, just sadly, Kalor Navas. Hopefully, you guys have some better luck. We will be back later on tonight with lots more of those packs. We're going to go and stream and uh, get the stream packs in. So if you want to come and watch that, twitch.tv slash Nepenthes, come and get involved. This is going to be the end of the video for now though, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.